All right, I just want to say something to you guys. When you travel, there are two things you need to always have in your bag. See, these two things, I mean, they can make the difference between making your day or not. Okay, earplugs, when you're traveling, you need them. Noisy ramps, you need them if you're on the airlines and there's a baby crying or something going on right next to you, you can't get any sleep, you can't get any rest. You need them in hotel rooms if it's a noisy floor, noise in the hall, that kind of stuff. The clothespin, that's great because you sometimes you get a hotel room, the shades won't close completely. The One of the lights that illuminates the exterior of the hotel happens to be right outside your room. There's a lot of light spillage into the room, you can't get any sleep. You use the clothespin to close those shades and make sure they stay closed. Always carry a clothespin and foam hair plugs. Okay, today I'm thinking about possibly taking a trip into New York City. We'll see how this works out. We leave tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I don't think Mike's too crazy about it. I may go regardless. I think he wants to go to Hoboken. What the hell is in Hoboken? Yeah, that's definitely the Empire State Building out there. And I think the tall, thin one is the Freedom Tower, uh, where the World Trade Center used to stand. You see the Empire State Building out there, the Freedom Tower, where the uh, World Trade Center used to be? So that's not a bad view, kind of interesting. Not great. Okay, they're about to stop serving breakfast, so we gotta hustle down the stairs, get a bite to eat. Yep, looks like they're still serving. I just went to the buffet, I skipped the omelet today. Let's go to New York. Taking the bus into New York. It'll take us to the Port Authority uh, terminal. And from there, I should be able to walk to Times Square. Just thought I'd get out and do a little something different today. Lots of little shops and kiosks here in the terminal. You're gonna have to find the exit and find out where Times Square is. Uh, the guy in the lobby of the hotel said it was only about four blocks from here. Right through there, you can see the Empire State Building. Park. Busy place. Very busy. And there's the New York City Public Library there. 42nd Street. Total screw up. I think that's the Chrysler building and I'm going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to backtrack a street. I think I actually missed it here. Okay, going back this way now. Yeah, I think I'm heading towards the theater district. Okay, I made it to Times Square. Kind of a roundabout way, but this is it. I don't know, some people I guess would call this the crossroads of the world. There is a throng of humanity out here walking around. Look at all that. These are some tall buildings here. I think the best time to get pictures here would be with the sun going down, but uh, just didn't work out that way today. Oh, that's even worse. So you, you did all the work. That's no fucking help. Got to get a better view of it up here. Yeah, yeah all these people coming through here. I'm getting hungry. It's a choice between a restaurant or a vending machine. Or a kiosk like that. That's what I'm leaning towards right there. Getting a brat. Somebody's making a little movie there, video. Yeah. The guy's got himself a bride there. 
<laughs> so good for them. Wish them many years of happiness. Whoops, wrong place to stop, buddy, <laughs> for a selfie. <laughs> oh, you gotta be getting tired. Now in search of the Empire State Building. Just a mass of humanity out here. But it's interesting. It's definitely not the Midwest. There it is, came around the corner. Wow. Saw it right there. <laughs> Lots of excitement. Walked by it. This is the Empire State Building. Right there. Boy, how many times did King Kong climb that? I'm gonna try out Jack Dempsey's here. They got. Yep. Jack Dempsey's more specials. Looks good. Check them, see, that was good. I've been gone a little more than five hours and uh, man, I'm beat. I, I walked a long way all over. I don't know how many miles I walked. Let's see, where was I? Gosh, Empire State Building, Broadway, uh, Times Square. And one thing that really struck me was just, gosh, the humanity there, the activity, the busyness, and the noise. I mean, there's work everywhere, things being done, construction, all sorts of stuff. But it was interesting. And then there were crazies too. I mean, it's just, it was an interesting day. Then rode the bus back. Here I am. I sent him a message to, let's meet for the, you know, spend the beverage bucks before dinner. But I never saw his return message. I just now noticed it. He said 5.30. So, I'm heading down. I just saw him there sitting. I hollered down, but he didn't hear me. He's at 175 Bravo Julia Tower, runway 24, line of 08. Line of 08, 24, 175 Bravo Julia. Good afternoon, Richard. 113 with you on the ILS 19, going to Atlantic. 